what's up guys welcome back and i'm happy that you clicked on today's video it's definitely been a while since i shared something like this but i am doing my kids bedroom makeover again yes so i am going to be doing two videos for this um bedroom makeover so what you see me doing right now is just wiping the walls down because i will be doing feature walls and since we're bringing in new furniture and everything like that i definitely wanted to make sure everything was clean all right so i was using the awesome cleaner to wipe down the walls i did a mixture of awesome hot water and dawn dish soap just use it to clean all the fingerprints and smudges and dirt from the wall because this is like an ultra pure white um color by bear so um i originally bought new paint and i was going to paint over it and then go in with my um feature design and once i was able to wipe the walls clean i no longer needed the paint so yeah and then plus with them being so small they were you know they're literally going to mess up the walls again and i'll just do the same method wipe everything down so i'm removing everything off the walls and um yeah Okay, so the next day I went out to one of our local hardware stores to get some black paint and I originally looked at the Rust-Oleum but they didn't have like the smaller, um, anything smaller than a quart so the lady at the counter recommended like the sample size and it was the exact thing that I needed so I'm not for sure the color black that she mixed in the sample but it is the Kensington brand paint. It's the next day. Um, this is a Monday. The kids' bedroom delivery will be here tomorrow. So we did go to order them a new bunk bed setup. So it'll be the three little ones in this shared room. So my ideas were to like make this something that's um, both neutral for girl and boy, but also make it fun and vibrant. If you wanna go back to watch the playroom makeover video. So I turned an area in our garage into their playroom space. And so I did a wall mural. It's the whole rainbow sunburst thing. It's so pretty. If I can, I'm gonna insert like a little clip or the thumbnail. So you'll know what to go back and look for in my playlist. So it should be under my room makeovers. But I just left Ace Hardware. I'm kind of rushing because I've been out most of the morning, but I want to go ahead and at least start on the wall before I pick them up from school. My youngest daughter, she's in pre-K, so she has to be picked up like super early. So I'm going to have to leave to go get her soon, but I wanted to go ahead and start on this because I wanted to film some content for like um, Instagram as well as for um, TikTok. I'm going to just also incorporate it into this video too. I did pick up the sample size of the... Uh, this Clark and Kensington and it's a color sample it is a black and I think a satin finish so I only needed something small because I'm gonna do this as a feature wall and it's probably gonna be two walls in here that are actual feet <clears throat> that are actual feature walls so this is what I'm gonna go for if I can too I'm also gonna insert my inspiration I did create this on keynotes on my macbook so i've done this in the past for other areas of my home that i plan on putting together but i think i inserted something like this into like a, one of my videos where i reveal some picture frames that i ordered and we're going to get to that too there's just been a lot going on in our home um so we're doing some renovating downstairs get new floors and baseboards and i'm excited about that but it's taking some time so we'll be back downstairs as soon as all of that stuff is pretty much done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started.
all right so for these accent feature walls i am using the dalmatian um, pattern print design i'm just using a small paint brush in this black paint to go in and make my design there's no right or wrong way to do this so you guys can literally do this it's, it is so easy use any color you would like you can do this in pink orange yellow you can do a mixture of colors blue whatever i think it'd be really pretty in like a nursery design um for like a a soft blue if you're gonna do it in like a boys room pink for a girls room or a peach pastel colors you can just get crazy with it so it's definitely no right or wrong way to do it when I started out I was initially just gonna do one wall but after it looked so good I decided to just kind of carry it on through the room so this is the very next day where I um, I'm carrying it over to the the wall that you'll see like as, as soon as you walk into the bedroom and this is actually going to be the wall that the bunk bed is placed on. And if you've been with me for a while, then you already know that my home design or home colors, I'm sorry, is black, white, and gray. So I just like how it looks um, in the house or in their room. And also, again, this room will be shared by our youngest son and our two girls. So I wanted to make it neutral also and yeah guys so i'm just gonna keep on um creating this design like i said it's super easy it did take me a couple of days because i started late the first day and um you know just kind of started late in the day and was sort of taking my time i was in no particular rush but um after doing those three main walls i decided to change it up just a bit and do this last feature wall in a different design so that's what i'm doing right here when looking for other designs for um the feature wall i did come across this lady's pinterest or tiktok where she created these um black arches or black arcs on the wall so i thought this would be um super cute and sort of different to kind of break up the whole dalmatian dots just to give this one wall one focal wall a different look and <clears throat> so i just continued on using that same small sample size paint to um finish this up and so shortly you'll see how it all turns out and then i'll tell you guys what happened next absolutely loving how this feature wall turned out i did go in and thinking out some of the lines that was a recommendation or suggestion by my oldest son bryce you guys know he is an artist so he recommended or suggested that i make some of the lines thicker i did that um i think it'll be in the next video when i actually go in and do their whole bedroom setup and everything after they got the furniture delivery but just to let you guys kind of know what happened so i told you guys i filmed the video to start on a monday tuesday the bed was supposed to be delivered the guys came out to delivery and could not get one section of it up our staircase so they end up having to take it back and then we end up going back that friday and placing placing a order for a new bed they end up bringing that one out about two weeks later so they just bought me some more time to go in and additionally do those other other two walls in the room and then it bought me a little bit more time to come up with this design to put in it also 
But yeah, guys, tune in for the next one. Make sure that you're subscribed. Turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to share it out as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.